Hi everyone, we're Lime and this is our final project. So here is our mechanical layout. On the left we have a CAD model and on the right is an image of the CubeSat on top of our orbiter. Between the design review and our flight day, um, the main change that we made was that we mounted our iView to the top panel from the bottom panel and this was to allow easier calibration of the ABCS. So this is our software architecture. So we start with the ADCS thread on the CubeSat, which just constantly reads gyroscope values and updates its positional data. Then the camera thread will check if there is a mono horizontally in the center of a picture. If there is, it'll save the picture with metadata that it takes in the ADCS. Um, and if there's not, it'll check if a 10 second timer has expired and take a picture anyways, um, and then reset that timer. Then the comm thread picks up those pictures that have been taken, checks if they have already been transmitted, and if they haven't, sorts them by the oldest, transmits them as a base64 string, and then checks it off as transmitted in the JSON file. Then the comm thread on the ground station receives it, decodes it and saves it in a folder to be processed, which the processing thread then checks if it has processed already, finds the oldest one, and then it highlights and numbers the guano spots using a filter and adds text uh, displaying the area and angle data, which it extracts from the file. In. Then it saves it to a folder to be, processed, to be pushed to GitHub um, and checks the file off as processed in the JSON file. Then the GitHub thread just continuously adds folders to the um, Git, commits them, and pushes them to GitHub. For integration and testing, we started by doing unit testing where we tested each individual component. Then we made each sus subsystem run on threads so that they don't interfere with each other. These threads then ran on satellite and ground station main code. We ran multiple full system tests of the flight day and debugged as necessary. We repeated this process to make sure everything went smoothly on flight day. Here's some quality content of flight day. Here are results from flight day. As you can see it on the left is a picture that shows our guano with the area and the degree and our telemetry packet on the right. Unfortunately, only one of our four satellites completed the mission as planned. All right, so what went wrong? As you may have heard, um, one of our four flights went successfully. Um, the only error that happened on that flight was an ADCS error. And this is where the angle values in the telemetry packets and also for the guano positions were off by um, a large amount. And um, we determined that the cause of this was a calibration error. And for the other three, we ran into this mysterious camera or telemetry or threading issue. And as you can tell, um, we don't really know the cause yet. And this is an intermittent issue where anywhere between several seconds to minutes into the satellite's code, it would completely crash and stop working, but it wouldn't raise any errors. So we wouldn't know what was going wrong. And um, this error would most likely take a very long time to figure out what was wrong. And we still don't know why it happened that way. And here's a nice quality meme that I'm sure most of you guys uh, will relate to.
And uh, yeah, thanks for listening and have a nice day.